Hey everyone, today I'd like to talk about the count and count a functions in sheets, how they're different and how they're similar. In the past, you might remember I made a count, countif, and countifs function tutorial video, but today we're going to include the count a function. The count a function does not have an if or ifs component to it like the count function, but it can be used very similarly. So first, let's look at the count function. Let's review that. So let's put down a set of numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this cell, E1, we'll hit equals count and then select our range. And what it will do is count the amount of values in this range, the amount of numbers. You see the little six pop up, hit enter, six. There are six numbers in this range. If you changed one of the numbers to the word three, for example, instead of the number three, this changes to five because it is counting the amount of numbers, not the amount of cells that are filled. The count a function will count the amount of cells that are filled. So next to it in cell F1, we'll hit equals count a and you'll see right here it says the number of values in a data set. We'll open our parentheses, highlight our six cells that we want to use, and hit enter, and it will give you six. Count gives you the amount of values, numerical values in a range, and count A counts the amount of cells that are filled. So then, let's say this number four here, if we get rid of it, you'll notice that both go down because count A counts the amount of cells that are filled, five of the six are filled, and count counts the amount of cells that have a number in it, and four of them have a number in it. So that's pretty much it as far as the count and count A functions go. Remember, check out the count if, or count, count if, and count ifs video that I made in the past. If you learned something today, please like, and comment for other videos you'd like to see, and subscribe as always. Thank you.